We're just trying to fine tune some things. Uh, it's pretty early in the, in the season, so we're still trying to work on some fitness stuff, some aerobic capacity work. So, uh, you know, we're not coming down or, you know, getting too ready for the meet this weekend, but um, more with the big picture in mind, but just fine tuning some things so the girls can be uh, sharp on relays and, and things like that tomorrow. I think they're excited, you know, we've got uh, SEC teams here and, and, and Big Ten teams here and, you know, to have them on campus at the same time is kind of a fun concept. The meet itself is kind of uh, only 12 kids per team, so it's a, it's a shorter, faster format, if you like, over two days. and. Uh, like I said, that's kind of attracted some people to come down here, come down to the sunshine for the weekend. And um, I'm hoping that this is something that we can keep going every year. We've got the NC2A announcer coming, so we're excited about that. He's going to make it a little bit more crowd friendly. And fans can guess on winning times, I think, to, to win prizes at, uh, of each race. Uh, and we also have the Florida Swim Network that's going to stream it live uh, on the internet. So it's kind of a big, big event for us this weekend. We've really competed at the highest level, but uh, it'd be great to get more fans out to our meets and, and see us against the Ohio States and South Carolinas and Rutgers and Buffalo and big, big schools like that. So, um, you know, it, it's important for the girls to race those people um, because those are the people we want to see at NC2As.